Hello and welcome again to the channel. We have on the board a math question and we have that 5 raised to power x minus 2 raised to power x all in a bracket raised to power 2 is equal to 10 raised to power x and we're asked to solve for the value of x. So we're going to start this way. So first of all we're going to um, try to rewrite what we have on the right hand side. So we know that 10 is the same thing as 5 times 2 and this 5 times 2 is similar to the 5 and the 2 that we have in the parentheses. So we have 5 raised to the power x minus 2 raised to the power x all squared equals 5 times 2 raised to the power x. Now we know that um, a raised to the power m, or sorry, a raised to the power m dot b raised to the power m is the same thing as a b raised to the power m. Similar powers, and then the bases can multiply. So let's rewrite 5 times 2 in this formula format. Okay, so now we have 5 raised to the power x minus 2 raised to the power x squared equals. 5 raised to the power x dot 2 raised to the power x. Now, let's, let's represent 5 raised to the power x as u and 2 raised to the power x as v. So if we do that, then we replace 5 raised to the power x as u and 2 raised to the power x as v in the parentheses and also on the right hand side. So we have u minus v all squared equals uv all right so now let's open up the parentheses so in order to solve this we have that u minus v times u minus v is equal to uv so let's multiply out so we have u squared minus 2 uv plus v squared is equal to uv, right? So we can collect the powers of 2, becomes that, and then our minus 2uv can move over to the right-hand side to become plus 2uv. So now we have u squared plus v squared equals 3uv. Okay, now let's get rid of the, let's put the UVs on one side and then the number on one side. So let's divide 3UV by UV and then divide the U squared and the V squared individually by the UV as well. So that's what we have. The UVs on the right hand side will get to cancel out. And then we have uh, the squared cancels out this u, the squared on the v cancels out the v in the denominator. So we have u over v plus v over u equals 3. So now what do we do next? Um, let's represent um, u over v as p. So let p equals u over v. Therefore, that means v over u is equal to 1 over p, right? Makes sense. So now we have p plus 1 over p is equal to 3, okay? So p is the same thing as p over 1, 3 is the same thing as 3 over 1. So we have a denominator of uh, p. So p and 1 is p, p times p is p squared plus p and p is 1, 1 times 1 is 1 equals p and 1 is p, 3 times p is 3p, so we have p squared plus 1 equals 3p. So our 3p can move over to the left hand side and becomes p squared minus 3p plus 1 equals 0. So now we employ our formula minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac 
divided by 2a. Because this, there's no way to get the factors of this. This is p squared, and this is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. And 1 plus 1 is not equal to 3. 1 minus 1 is not equal to minus 3. Um, so the only way is to use this formula. Okay, so now we have that b. We have that um, our a is equal to 1. Our b is equal to minus 3. And our c is equal to 1. So now let's substitute these values into the equation. So we have our p is equal to minus, minus 3 plus or minus square root of minus 3 squared minus 4. A is 1 and C is also 1. All divided by 2 into bracket 1. So now we have that p is equal to minus times minus is plus. So we have positive 3 plus or minus square root of minus 3 squared is 9. Minus 4 times 1 times 1 is 4 divided by 2. This becomes 3 plus or minus root 5 divided by 2. Now, let's recall. Recall that P is equal to, we said P is equal to U over V. P is equal to U over V. And we know that U is 5 raised to the power X. V is 2 raised to the power X. Okay, so now we have U over V equals 3 plus or minus root of 5 divided by 2, which now translates into 5 raised to the power x over 2 raised to the power x equals 3 plus or minus root of 5 divided by 2. Now let's separate the plus or minus. So we have um, 5 raised to the power x over 2 raised to the power x equals 3 plus root 5 over 2. And also we have it for 5 over x, uh, 5 raised to the power x, 2 raised to the power x equals 3 minus root of 5 divided by 2. Okay, so now we can collect the powers for the 5 raised to the power x and 2 raised to the power x. We can collect powers. So this becomes 5 over 2 collective of x power equals 3 plus root 5 divided by 2. So what can we do here? Let me do the other side as well. So it's still the same thing, only that we have 3 minus root 5 divided by 2. Okay, so we can supply log to both sides so that we can be able to um, find the value of x. And if we do that, we have log We have log 5 over 2x equals log of 3 plus root 5 divided by 2. The x comes over here, and we have x log 5 over 2 equals log 3 plus root 5 divided by 2. Now, we are going to divide through by log 5 over 2. Since we're looking to get the value of x, if we cross these out, x stands alone. So now we have x is equal to log of 3 plus root 5 divided by 2 divided by log of 5 over 2. Now, we know that log c of a over 
log base CB is the same thing as log of A base B. So let's rewrite our value of x in that format. So this becomes x equals log 5 over 2, base of 5 over 2, and this becomes 3 plus root 5 divided by 2. Okay. Now this becomes our answer. So that's our x1. And then we go over to this side. It's still the same solution because now we have, we supply log to both sides. And we have x log 5 over 2 equals log 3 minus root 5 divided by 2. We divide both sides by log 5 over 2 divided by log of 5 over 2. That cancels out. We have that x is equal to log of 3 minus root 5 divided by 2 all over log of 5 over 2. And using our formula here, we have that x2 is equal to log base of 5 over 2, 3 minus root 5 divided by 2. And these are our answers. Okay. So if you've learned something new today, make sure that you like this video, share this video to you, with your friends and your loved ones. If you'd like to see more math videos like this, please do subscribe to this channel. And thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.